Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Badness. This is the first stream um, after the streamathon in 2018. Um, I didn't get to finish my project um, last night, so I, I came on quickly today to get it finished and um, yeah. And then I'm going to take a nap because I did not sleep last night. I don't know, but I think I figured out why. Um, you're welcome, Sherry. Hi, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm alive. I'm live, but not lively. That's the absolute truth. And you guys, it's not a hangover. I didn't have enough alcohol to get a hangover. I wish I had. I wish I could say that I'm hungover, but I'm not. Um, just didn't sleep, but I think I figured it out. I got some coffee for Christmas that was caffeinated. And I thought, well, I'll just mix it with the decaf and we'll have, you know, like half calf right? Um, I think it's jacking with me because I haven't had caffeine in so long. And of course, I drink it all day long. So I really think that's it. So I sent Robert, well, Robert had to go to town anyway, but I told him, get us some new decaf. We are going back to decaf coffee. I'm going to sleep tonight if it kills me. Um, so anyway, Happy New Year, everybody. Again, I hope we have all, every one of us, have the best year ever. 2017 was a little rocky for Ratatouille and I, but nothing that we couldn't handle and, and haven't done well with. So, um, yeah, I hope 2018 is a lot better for you, for me, for everybody. So most of you here have heard about the scavenger report, and I just talked about it. Scavenger report, what the hell? Scavenger hunt, and um, I talked about it before I went on. If you want to participate, um, email me. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave me a message there, and we'll somehow get you involved in it. Um, hopefully it's just going to be fun. So hi, Eileen. I neglected to say hi when you came in. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this little journal cover. And it's going to look just like this one, only different colors and smaller. And then I need to matte medium these too. So, um, yeah, better. You can't take another 2017, Linda. I kind of hear you there. I don't want to. And I'm proud of myself. Um, I got all of the... Um, Giveaway journals wrapped up, addressed, packaged, ready to go in the mail tomorrow. So they were all United States. Um, so the postage is not going to send me to the poor farm. I'm going to put my email in right now for you, Tambit. Um, ah crazy fingers. Oh my gosh. Somebody shoot me. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know why the odd, odd size dot grid. Judy, tell us. Hurry. Don't hesitate. I think Ratatouille may be home. Ratatouille is home. Um, and show you how to use the ruler. Well, the thing is, um, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter on the caps, on any of it. I think Yahoo has done away with that. Um, you're welcome, Colleen. I was so excited to put yours in the mail. So, everybody, I was I was happy for everybody who won, and I hope they're happy to get them and, and use them, and they're only going to live so long. Keep that in mind. They're paper. So, yeah. But the ruler that they're asking about is this dot grid one. We, we're talking about it endlessly because, um, because grid paper comes in 4x4 four four and 5x5. Five five. See, that could be it, Judy. I don't know. I'm so used to, um, you didn't send me an e email, Eileen, you knucklehead. 
I can't sit there and think about it. Ange didn't send me one either. So she didn't get one either. Um, that could very well be, Judy. It could be. I'm used to 1 sixth inch spacing because that's the spacing that they use in printer. 1 sixth of an inch is called a pica. So um, when it came 1 fifth inch, I was like, I'm not sure what that's about, you know, if that, if, if it was designed for some specific reason. But you got to remember, too, that these things are Chinese. So that could be a standard measurement in China. What the hell do I know? But I don't care. This is the truth about me and rulers. Um, if it's got a measurement on it, and it's got dots, and it's got angles, you must own it. That is that. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Ange. Ange, I didn't get an email from you, so I didn't send you the list. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? Oh, it's the filters for the... <laughs> Robert came in with his arms just like full. And um, he bought new filters for the furnace. The grid in the beast is 5x5. Five five. Is it really, Judy? Now, look, she... Judy is so... I sent the damn email. Oh my God, I love you so much for doing that. Yeah. He just showed me the decaf coffee that he brought. Did you only buy one? Yeah, I didn't know whether I was doing the right thing or not. I should have. Okay. Bought well, it's all right. I'm going to be going back. Judy, I believe you completely, but no, it's not, Judy. I hate to disagree, but. Unless I'm on drugs, it's not. It's close, but it's not. If the even inch on this thing is right. Yeah, see, there is no standard measurement on this for one inch. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six and a portion. I'm going to double check. Yeah, no, that's sixth and a portion, Judy. Hi, Jean. Hi, Picola. How much was the plastic grid thing? It was, well, I got it on sale. And you guys, I don't know if all of this, um, the right stuff at Michael's is going to be on sale tomorrow. I really don't know. Um, if they're rolling it out, I, I don't know. Um, so... You are important, but you have to remember, do you know how many emails, oh, and that was another thing I was going to say, do you know how many emails I had to send out this morning? It was over 50, and I would have eventually asked for you, but the truth of the matter is, I didn't know if you wanted to play or not, and if you didn't, that's fine too, that's entirely up to you, but yeah, send me an email and then I won't goof up, I, I can't promise that, but anyway, um, and you got your Atra? Yeah, let's, is. let's go ahead and take them. <gasps> Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not. Robert Vaughn! Oh my God, you guys, I'm so happy. I have to hug him and kiss him. Are you kidding me? No, oh, baby! <laughs> that is awesome! Isn't it? Yeah, you just paid for the whole year. You paid for the whole year. That is so awesome! Yeah, baby. We'll see. The dragon's explain it to me because it's, no, it's the a whole, long, drawn-out thing. I know what it is, but if you okay. get off this right now, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about all that crap he was telling you. Oh, okay. If this is your last time, um, yeah. you're done. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys why I'm so excited. <laughs> if you care at all. Um... Robert's been on this horrendously expensive um, medicine, like $3,000 a month, and his new insurance went into effect today. And so he went to pick up his medicine this morning, and it dropped from $3,000 to $800. So, yeah, I'm excited. We had a net savings today of $2,200. <coughs> so, 
So Terry, hey Treble, could you go get me all the links for those books again? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so that's why I'm so excited because I think this may be the last um, that he has to take. But what we saved in this month period pays for the insurance for the whole year. So you can see why I'm excited. Yeah, it is. It is wonderful. So, and you know, the, he said the druggist was trying to explain a bunch of junk to him. It's that whole donut hole thing. So, yeah. Anyway, but I think that's the <coughs> last of the Yatra. Keep your fingers crossed that that's the last of the Yatra. Because we, after this month, we go get a new bone marrow. All right, we were talking about this ruler before Robert came in and made me all excited. Um, it's one fifth inch. Don't ask me why. Um, but anyway, to give you an idea of how you use it, um, yeah, three thousand dollars a month. That we were freaking out. Do you want to keep this? Oh gosh, yes. Yeah, yeah we we keep those. Just leave it up here yeah, there. just leave it up there, hon. And write down that you took the atra. Write it on your pill thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can use it as just a regular ruler up to um, eight inches. And the division in the ruler portion of it is um, one eighth of an inch. But then the um, we told you why. But Judy, I just checked, and the um, the beast, at least my beast, is not one fifth inch. Now there are probably other graph papers that are, but the the beast, the Miguel Ruiz, um, yeah, it could just be a choice, just one more option. Now if they had this in one sixth inch, I would buy that. But anyway, I'm not sure why they think all these dots are important. But when I was doing the spacing for the scavenger hunt, it was easy for me just to go down and do the dots really quick and then use the rolling ruler um, to write on. So um, that's one way to use the dots. Um, you could make your um, your own grid paper, I guess. That would be, but you can do that off the computer so much easier. Um, the space between dots is one half centimeter. There you go, Karen. See, it could be metric, and we just don't know anything about it because we're arrogant Americans, and we are not messing with that metric crap. I promise you that. That's what I think. So, where is what is your beast? I'll show you the beast. Well, let me finish this ruler thing, okay? Also, um, they have the the diagonal lines are angles. So if you need a, a angle rule for whatever reason, you can either use where the line intersects the dots to determine that angle, or according to um, CB and Eileen, who are both really freaking brilliant women, you can line up the, um, the line on the edge of your sheet of paper and draw out here and that's going to give you your 20 degrees, okay? Or your 15 degrees or your 10 degrees. It, it's just another way to to draw your your angles but if you knew, know how to use a protractor get that bad boy out so that's pretty much the holes on the ruler in the video are angled like the angles on this ruler well no you if you're gonna use the the holes to get your angles you're gonna have to be careful and watch where the um, where the lines intersect the holes. That's going to give you your angle. Um, so that's pretty much the ruler. I like any ruler that is clear, first of all. Um, it is a takeoff on a quilter's ruler, yes.
there are some holes on the angles. Yes. So, I don't know. I just think it's a cool gadget. And the truth of the matter is, um, on sale, it was two bucks. Hello, how could you not buy it? Because it's two bucks. What a deal. I can't believe that we got that medicine for $800 today. Oh, next month paying bills is going to be so much more fun. All right, and we've got a new person here. Well, and if any of you are new, welcome. Um, I'm not sure if I said hi, Galena or Carrie. Um, okay, so Sarah says it's a, for making hand lettering and calligraphy guides. She found a link to a video last night. All right. Um, but I think in conjunction with the rolling ruler, it's cool. I know, Karen. I, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Karen said, I bought two. I thought if Janet needed it, I must need two. Karen, don't even try and explain yourself because I so get that. Hi, Kathy. Um, and other Kathy, Kathy Berg and um, Kathy Arbor both came in. All right. And I don't remember who asked. It was back in the chat and I can't um, can't go back that far. This is the beast. This um, cover on the beast has been altered. This came as just a black cover, just like this, and then I altered it. So, and the beast is kind of like my everything in one place. I use it as a bullet journal. I draw in it. I test out products in it. I just doodle. I do whatever I want in the beast. I glue stuff in it, whatever. So this is the beast. It's my planner, it's my idea book, it's my gratitude book, it's everything. It's everything, everything. And you can see that I'm really right on top of it because I have nothing in here for 2018. One of these books lasts me two years. And one of the very, um, oh, okay, Eileen, send me that. Well, I can go ahead and take the link from here, I guess. Um, one of the very, best things I think we did on stream this year is when we decided to alter the beast cover. I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Since I've done this, I haven't put the beast back in its leather cover because I think it's so gorgeous. So it is really thick. And by the time I get two years in it, here I'll show you what a two year beast looks like. But I don't care. It can be as thick as it wants to be. I was really careful not to glue stuff in this one. And this is how thick it was after two years. And this has been smushed together on the shelf. So, But this is two years in this one. And that one you just looked at was only a year. And that's what the cover looks like without the alteration. So... There, now I'm caught up with everything. So, hi Minky, hi Tam, hi Sherry. I'm, if I've said hi before, if I, and if I haven't, consider yourself greeted. Sherry, other people have said that to me too, that the spine broke on that book. I'm not especially careful with mine, and normally it is in a traveler's notebook style um, cover with the elastic that goes in. I had it peel away a little bit up here, but mine is really okay. I, I, I've not had that problem, so, um, and I, I told um, other people if that did happen to mine and, and where mine did start peeling away a little bit I just took one of those fine liner bottles and I'm sure you guys know what that is let me see if I have one here um, take one of the fine liner bottles I've got a new one my other one is down in my adhesives but just take one of these fine liner bottles put some glue in it or smush some E6000 down in there and just re-glue it. That's what I would do. 
the only book like that I have trouble with is from your puppy. Did your puppy chew it? So that's that, and I just knocked lids all over the place. I guess I have to get those later. <clears throat> all right, any other questions about junk you see here? And then Kathy Arbor walks in. Well, I was already sitting here feeling guilty about having those pan pastels that I don't use. So, Eileen, make a note and remind me in the new year we are getting the pan pastels out. And I'm going to resist the urge to buy more. You haven't been able to find the fine liners? Um, and look in the model car. Um, aisle at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Well, Mo Hobby Lobby, I don't think Michael's carries um, model cars, but at Hobby Lobby, I found some in the model car lane aisle. If you have trouble, let me know. Uh, he chewed it, but you can put it back together. Well, after you put it back together, Kathy, if there's markings on the outside, Glue stuff to it like this and make it beautiful. That looks like it's not even, but it is. Yeah, you can disguise it. Yeah, I got my fine liner bottles. I know at Hobby Lobby. And I know you can order them, but I think they're cheaper at Hobby Lobby, especially because you get to um, use a coupon. So, all right. Hi, G. Torres. Um, you know what, G. Torres? If you give us your name, we'll try and remember to use it. <laughs> anyway, I saw you yesterday, I think, for the first time. So it's nice to meet you. Um, the holes in the ruler are for the nuns. Less wind resistance when they slap your hand. <laughs> Did Eileen say that? Oh, my gosh. Somebody needs to hit her. But now that Robert's home and I know the, and I wasn't sick over the cost of the medicine, we've been doing it for six months, so, um, but I am just in such a good mood now. Maybe I'll drink those other two, um, <laughs> mudslides. <laughs> All right, and if you were here last night, you saw me start this cover, um, I like it. I like all the blues. I think it's pretty. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this up. And I'm going to use some more of this kind of greenish blue. What is it? Aqua? Bright aqua? that Because when I look down in the camera, I really like that. Pull up the link and read it. Oh, you mean, why does my ruler have holes? There are four holes along the center axis, one exactly in the middle at six inches, one four inches away on either side and larger. There are dynamics. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You'll have to go read that. I'm not going to repeat it on stream, but that. Well, duh, smack yourself on the forehead. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Giselle, okay. They call you GT? Okay, I'm going to try and remember Giselle. I think that's a beautiful name, by the way. In fact, I think it sounds all French, French and beautiful actress-like, you know, like... If your name's Giselle, yeah, you wear fancy clothes, drink champagne, and certainly wouldn't hang around with the likes of Eileen and myself. Well, I'll include CB in there, too. Yeah, you wouldn't hang out with us in real life, I'm pretty sure. Me, anyway, for sure.
and Eileen is sitting in Boca Raton right now typing, Hey! <laughs> Yeah, I saw your bin of Tombow markers, Eileen. I never, ever, ever, ever want to hear one word about my pen stash. Because, yeah, I'd be embarrassed if that was mine. <laughs> And I don't know if Jennifer's here or not. I haven't seen her in chat. But she showed um, her version of this last night, which, Jennifer, it was going along great. I mean, I think you're, you're doing exactly um, what you need to do to make this work. I just think you weren't smushing the paint together enough. That's what I'm going to say, is your paint needs to be smushed together more, is all. Um... But then I couldn't see um, up close really good either, so. Because <clears throat> one thing that makes it kind of cool is the fact that you can see the, um, the washi, but the edges are disguised. And I said that several times last night to just, um, is, yeah, you're just disguising the edges of the washi, just making them less noticeable. Eileen's all insulted, and CB goes like, yep, I get it. CB, I knew you wouldn't get your panties in a wad. That Eileen, she, she goes around getting her panties in a wad all the time. All the time. All right, I could use some of that there, I think. You know, and if you were more patient, you could like do this in an ombre or who knows. Um, is Eileen being mean again? No, Eileen's being Eileen. <laughs> we're being mean to each other, Linda. It's kind of the symbiotic relationship we've created for each other, and it seems to work for us. We probably won't get divorced anytime soon. And if I didn't have Eileen to pick on, I'd probably pick on Ratatouille. I'd rather pick on Eileen. So anyway, I totally have bought into Eileen's goal for 2018 of using what you've got. Don't buy new. I'm really going to try and take that to heart. I really am because I, I agree with that. You know, why do I buy all this stuff if I'm going to stick it in a cabinet and, and really not get its full use and functionality? So I'm going to be really good this year which means I'm really going to do that, or when I go in, out and buy stuff, I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> or at least I'm not going to show Eileen. I don't mind telling Robert what I spent at all, but I'm scared to death to, to share with Eileen. <clears throat> all right, I want some of that real, real dark. Use your stash. Yep, I, I am... Totally, totally buy an end of that. It won't hurt any of us. Now, one thing I have done, I used to be, I was terrible about um, rubber stamps. I mean, if, if there was a cute rubber stamp, I, I just could not say no. I would just buy it. Um, but then back then, too, I would maybe use it a couple times, and then after I felt like I had gotten used out of it, I would give it to my mother. Well, my mother's dead now, and I got all those stamps back. Um, but now, if I'm even considering buying a stamp, I stand there and I think, really, how many times are you going to use that? Um, like birthday stamps and stuff like that. 
you know, you might use them multiple times, but some of the really cute character ones, honestly, how, how often are you guys going to use that? And that's where my downfall is, is things that I buy, they get used once for the purpose that I bought them for, and then I never pick them up again. Um, I'm bad that way. And I'm going to edge this in navy blue, so in the dark, dark blue. So what color goes in there? Medium blue or dark blue? I need some dark blue right in here for sure. It's easier for me to see um, where the paint is when I look at the camera. I'm not sure why that, or the, the screen. Mine too, Judy. Getting your panties in a wide constantly mo must be painful. Maybe I need some monkey butt powder for the chafing. Um, I think she sent me her only container of monkey butt powder. It's on my counter right here. I look at it every day and laugh because I think it's funny. Because I have the sense of humor of a 12-year-old boy. <laughs> and the body. She's going to keep buying. I'm really going to try not to, Jeannie. I really am. I, I'm not kidding when I say that. I really am going to try hard. I don't want that color there. Um, and if you guys get online and say, oh, look at this. It's something you got to have. I'm, I'm going to send a hitman. My weakness is just like Dee Dee's books. Um, I have real difficulty in the book department. And I'm going to go to the book department tomorrow, or the bookstore tomorrow, and I will go one more, once more um, at the first week of... Um, February to look at their calendars. Not that I need another calendar, but I have to go look. Actually, I do buy like some of their quote calendars or um, I want everyone to tweet a picture of what they used and not bought. What? <laughs> Did I say that, Arlene? What they bought and not used. But yeah, I probably ought to stay away from the, the calendars as well. Except I will buy the, the puzzle ones and the quote ones, and I will actually use them. I used every one from last year. Used it up completely. Now I'm just going back and getting little areas where um, I maybe left some white area around the... Um, washi tape or something like that. I mean we're getting down to the really skinnies now. I really am tired today I have to say. I really really am. Now there's some washi that I absolutely totally obliterated. I don't even Oh, it was that light, light blue. All right, what color do I need right in there? But as far as I'm concerned, we're getting real, real done here. Checking, checking.
Okay, trouble, go get some rest. Save my money to buy a kangaroo when I go to Australia. Okay, yeah, that's just what I need. Got an emu, <laughs> need a kangaroo. All right, I'm going to use this light medium blue in here. Actually, if I was going to buy any animal in Australia, it would be a koala bear. It really would. Leave the kangaroos where they're at, but get yourself a koala bear. And I'll bet they're not as nice as you think, but they're cute. Not buying, done for the day. Good for you. I am done too. And I'm going to try and be real careful tomorrow when I go into Michael's. I'm going to um, I'm going to look for the rulers because somebody wanted one. Dee Dee said this morning that she bought Paula one, but somebody else had asked me. So I was going to go ahead and buy a couple. So if those of you having trouble, need them, I'd have one or two on hand. But then the crazy thing is about that, th this is what drives me crazy about that, is um, the shipping. You know, like to get them wherever they got to go. Oh, I think it was Colleen. No, Colleen wants me to look for the flow book. I don't know. But then it's like, hello, think about the shipping, knucklehead. You turn that $2 ruler into a $10 ruler. In shipping alone. And somebody said the United States Postal Service is raising postage again. So isn't that precious? All right. Can you guys see any place I might have missed? Oh, there's one right there. They come in with a built-in pencil pouch. I know, Carol, see? They can be nasty. She says, has ruse right outside her door. And no, you wouldn't. No, they are not. <laughs> I have heard the koalas grunt. I saw it on YouTube or something. Um, I'm thinking I've gotten all these little areas. Here's one right down here that I'm going to go ahead and cover up. I used the light blue here. Now I'm about ready to call this ready to splatter. Jean, I heard yesterday that in 2018 your new technique on everything is going to be splatterage. Is that true? Oh, here's a big area down here I missed. What the heck? Eileen lies and starts release. <laughs> okay, postage goes up January 21st. I heard that it was going up. Um, yeah, they're going to get it pretty soon where, you know, people like us who depend on the, the mail service to either swap art or whatever, they're going to just make it so that we can't do it. Um, you know, because really, do you make something and then ship it off and end up paying a gazillion dollars for it to get there. It's just maybe we'll have to just share art electronically and never get to actually see it for firsthand or feel it, but I, I hate that. Alright, unless somebody says something, I'm going to say that 
I'm done with the paint. We're going to mix up some gold glitter. I'm not going to add black to this. Um, I have not. I need to start that today, Teresa. I was going to start that the first. I'm glad you said something. I'm going to write that down. But yeah, I was going to start that on the first and include it in my um, beast. So before I go to bed tonight, I will be doing a quote for Eileen. I'm going to use up the rest of this paint in the breakfast journal. And I know Eileen thought that I was lying, that I wasn't really going to do it. Fooled her. Just picking a page randomly out of wreck this journal so I can smudge his paint in it. I'm going to use that mud page if I can find it quickly. This one's kind of fun because it's already got the blue one in it. So we'll just do it on here. That's pretty enough. Oh, yeah, kangaroo, this is a, it's a passport cover. It's a, a just a traveler's notebook. But it's just in the um, traveler's notebook size, or the passport size, traveler's notebook passports, passport size. She is slacking today, but I have to cut her a little bit of slack because we were all up really late last night, and she's an hour um, later than I am. So I kind of have to cut her some slack today because I'm cutting myself some slack for sure. Again, I've said it before, that was the Dina Wakely Heavy Body Gold Paint. Great for splatterage. And this water that I'm using is so disgusting, I can't even show you guys, you'll gag. It's so gross. But for splatterage, it'll be fine. I am recording, Lynn. And I am going to put the little um, circle in here like we did in the other one. I'm trying to splat pretty close so I don't end up splatter. The other day I had splatter on my phone. I had, I had splatter everywhere. I can't even begin to tell you the splatterage and where it all was. All right, that's good enough. I made enough for 50 journals. <clears throat> I'll just do it on this same page that I just did that on. It's already got black splatterage, so might as well have some gold. The gold splatterage has kind of gotten to be a theme in this book now. <clears throat> I wish I had more to splatter. All right, here this will it'll be this page. Wonder what that damn cat's doing. I just heard something fall. It's never a good sign. She's been acting so weird and getting places that she's never gone before. Um, like she's forgotten the rules around here or that we even have any. Because at one time we did have rules. 
but she's, yeah, she's just behaving weird. Ever since Thanksgiving, she's been behaving weird. All right. I'm going to blow this and get those splatters dry, and then we're going to cut it and ink it. It's not too fast. I have not put anything up. Um, yeah. Um, she's 14. Um, she has Alzheimer's. You know, it could very well be. I don't know. She is, has been doing some weird stuff. And I've seen it happen with animals before, but it was usually after a medical procedure, and she's not had any. So I don't know. I need to talk to Jan about it. But like the other day, she jumped up on the counter in the bathroom. Like she knows better. She does not. Um, she does not get to get up on hard surfaces in this house. I don't care counter, table, anything. No hard surfaces ever. Um, and now it's just like any place in the house is fair game. She gets up on the chairs under the dining room table. That's always been off limits. I may have to get the water bottle out and start squirting her again. I don't really want to do that, but I will. And I didn't cover this back, so it got paint on it. So who knows what I'll do with the inside of this. I should have protected this inside. Um, yeah, there she, she's down playing with something batting it around or whatever she knocked off yeah is now a toy all right I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the edges of this I wonder, did I throw that sponge back in here? I think I did, or I threw it away. I don't know which. Let me check real quick. I don't know. I'll just get a new one. Cut it off. I'm just cutting the hard end off this sponge. I'm going to use the dark, dark, dark blue for the edge. Got to get my sleeves out of the way. Now we're good to go.
Oops, didn't cut that one off. As I'm doing this, I'm kind of watching and looking for problem areas, anything I might need to fix before I matte medium it. Because after that, it, it's not impossible, it's just not as easy. Yikes. And if you're not careful, you'll have paint everywhere when you're done with this. Some of these washi tapes are really acting like they want to resist this craft paint. So that's kind of a bummer. Remember, if you're talking to me, put it in caps, because I, I do glance over at chat, but if I don't see any caps, I pretty much go back on my way. check. I knew I'd forgotten the side. Another new person that I don't believe I've ever met before. So is it Jigag? <laughs> Jigag? Um, we already met Giselle today. G Taurus is Giselle. So if you want to tell us your name, we will, or I will try and and use it. Um, some people I just use their nicknames because I like them. Like Minky, I know that. Minky is Joan, but I just like Minky because that was how I met her. Okay, there we go. I'm going to blow it dry again and we'll cut a hole. Coffee is brewing. Yay, you, Ange.
Okay, so here, I'll tell you in just a minute. That's probably good enough. If it smears a little bit, who cares? Because the whole thing is big old smear, right? Um, all right, when this pup is put together, it's like this. This will be the front cover. And I need to do something up here that is not good right there. Um, so where do I want the cut the whole cut out if I want it hidden completely but because I got paint on this back I'm probably going to do something different with this anyway so I don't care if the hole shows or not because I'm going to hide it anyway hi Bojo hi Deb Boring haven't seen you around in forever Dorothy um so ooh here in 1917 Hints that nobles killed Rasputin stirs Petrograd. Anyway, a monk's body was recovered. Oh man, now I wish I'd read that whole article. I mean, I have to quit cutting up my book. Alright, I'm thinking I'm going to put it down here in the corner. Some of these corners are popping up, so if you do this... Be really careful. You when you put the matte medium on, you're gonna have to be really careful. But I'm thinking about a circle right down here. Um, the the whole chat and everything was just a pain in the butt. Um, we all lost chat at Jean's. Um, Jean lost chat. She had to go out and come back, and that fixed it for a little while but not long. I don't know how many people couldn't get into mine at all. So I kind of think the streamathon maybe broke you stream. Yep, we probably just broke it. All right. Now, in this case, I'm going to engineer this backwards cuz somewhere I had the washi tape that I wanted to use on this, the words. I left the washi tape out on purpose. And Kangaroo Babe, I have not forgot your question um, about the scavenger hunt. I'm going to grab my um, book from Jana's and show you again. I thought I'd shown this like a hundred times, but... I know everybody isn't at every stream, so who cares? Well, where did I put that washi, knucklehead? And I'm moving everything because I don't want to get paint and goobers on this. Um, get yourself a book. Any kind of book. Um journal whatever you can use a spiral bound notebook you can I wouldn't suggest using like a pad of paper I would d use something that I could keep somewhat bound and then um, for each prompt you have to do what it says okay for example on Jana's their first was and you don't have to do it in any particular order was pick something up off the street and stick it down I went ahead and put my page numbers next to these so I could find where the item was later so that was on page number three and then I also went ahead and cross-referenced that I picked up this feather on the street and stuck it down and it's number one Okay, so that you just have to find the junk. Okay, here's, um, let's see, use the next, <clears throat> excuse me, use the next bag from chips or bag you have, cut out a piece and stick it down. 
I put that on page 29. All right, there you go. There's some potato chip bag and some Pringles. And that was prompt number 24. I mean, you don't have to cross index it like that if you don't want. But every one of these, okay, that here's number 49. That was the whole page from um, some paper. And you can make it as fun and as creative and interesting as you want. This is just a page of nothing. There's no number here. I just stuck that stuff down because I was collecting it. So does that answer your question? These, I just got them. Okay. These are notes from Carrie. Um, there's a hunky guy. Here's my um, fortunes out of for fortune cookies. Here's uh, the hunky guy. Here's the envelope that I had to doodle on. So, that's really how simple it is. I have an unused smash book my niece gave me a couple Christmases ago. Oh, cool. That would be perfect, Jean. Yeah, just use something you've got. I mean, even if it's a, a book you bought at a library sale or a book that you're going to get rid of, you could quite honestly use a magazine and just paste stuff on top of the magazine page. You don't have to buy anything new. You don't have to create anything new. Yeah, use what you've got. That's what we're doing in 2018, using what we've got. And I'm still looking for the washi, only I'm not really looking. Now I'm yapping. Where would I have put that? And this is good. Oh, there it is. And this is going to be my scavenger book. And I've already collected a couple things, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to start it probably tomorrow. Today, if I have time, I'm going to work on my um, Beast and get 2018 set up. I can't believe I haven't done that. All right, so I want to use the words, life is a journey, but I don't want necessarily to use the, the flowers on either end of it. So... Um, I'm going to kind of get a feel for how big a hole. I don't want a big hole like on those other books because I don't think the size of the book would support a great big hole in it, right? And when I say hole, well, oh, okay, here's one. Like this hole. This is what I'm talking about. Um, given the journal cover uh, focal point, I guess is what it really is. We're coming up with a focal point here. It's going to be right down here. So my longest word in this is journey, and I'm going to use my handy-dandy clear ruler here and measure that so I get the hole big enough but not too big. Okay, the journey measures about three-quarters of an inch, and life measures about three-eighths okay alright now I kinda know how big my hole has to be and the reason I'm um, choosing that is because it's my passport cover to put my passport in to go to Australia hi Steffi And just getting really ticked off. Well, you know what? I'm really not too worried about it. Because I will send it when I get off stream. Y'all should have sent the email last night like the rest of the responsible ladies. Alright, I'm going to go get <laughs> my um, templates to figure out the sizes. <laughs> it's easier that way.
All right, even that's pretty a pretty big hole. Maybe I could get away with this one. I made um, templates of, of my hole cutter. <clears throat> yeah, see, I think that even that one is too big for this size of a cover. The words are too small, so we'll go to the next size down. Yep, one and three-eighths, that's it right there. Um, I'll type it in real quick. I don't want to say it out loud um, on the, the recording. Um, Okay. Um, you requested a list through my email and didn't get it? Jean, I think there's something jacked up with your email because last night you didn't get <laughs> our thing from Amazon. Um, Jean, if you wouldn't mind, would you send me the request again? Um, because that's how I'm keeping track of what I've sent out. Okay, so this is the inside small. All right with the red. All right. That's kind of where I want my circle right there. I think I think if you wouldn't mind, Jean. Um When I'm not busy, I will happily mail that on. Oh, look at these goofballs in chat. They're like ganging up on me. They don't do what they're supposed to do, and suddenly I'm the bad guy. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? You think Amazon was busy? Yeah, Dorothy got her email in. Jennifer sent it to you? Okay. Make sure it's um, got the attachment on it. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. This is a sassy group. Giselle, I swear. Do not be like these ladies. And don't be like me. I'll just say that flat out. Don't be like me. <laughs> Where did my paper go? I had that paper right here. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess and I'm losing everything. There it is. Oh, I drew on it. This why. <clears throat> it just needs to be slightly bigger than that, right? And I'm going to have to make some more splatterage. Eileen, why don't you remind me before I clean up the paint that I need splatterage? <sighs> Pay these people good money and what the hell. You're forwarding it for me? Okay. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Now I won't know who else participating, but I don't need to know. So that's all good. Thanks for helping out. I appreciate it a lot. And the email should have two attachments, page one and four, and the back, page two and three. And I'm sorry, it's kind of messy and it's handwritten, but I was not going to learn a software to get that piece of crap done. I figured if it's good enough for me, good enough for you. All right. using the glue stick. And this is the glue stick you need to get. Elmer's Extreme. They're about three bucks each, but they last like for the longest time. I'm not kidding you. I'm so not kidding you. 
Well, I'll use the circle I cut out. I'm going to get it more even. This stuff does really work. It even works on Tyvek. It's permanent. And I have another one. I don't know if I dug it out. Um, Hubby says you must like to use drafting handwriting. I do. Is Eileen figure or Eileen Jean trying to figure out what she's going to use her gift certificate for? I want to see it, Jean. All right, Jean. I just might use my gift card to get the new cameo. Well, that would be cool, Jean. If you think you would really use it and get your money's worth, I'd say go for it. If you'd asked me, you know, what'll Jean spend her her gift certificate on, I would have said more watercolors. But you're saying you have enough. I know you bought some really nice ones. I probably would spend my money on books. I just know me, and I probably would. Probably would. Crap, I didn't do the splatterage. Uh, that's all right. Okay. All I did was glue that over the hole. Now I'll put the washi tape words down. Um, since I used the navy blue, let me think. Let me see what color Posca pens I've got. You have all the watercolors you need. Yeah, I get that. I mean, until they come out with the next greatest thing, right? I know how that is. I was like that with colored pencils. I don't need any more. I don't need any more. And then look at me. Oh, I've got to have those polychromos. That's not dark enough. Darn it. I'm, I think I'm just going to use the black. I really do. Um, because matching that dark, dark blue is impossible. It's just not going to work. Um, and I can't think of anything else I have that's going to work well on top of this acrylic paint. So I'm just going with black. Going with the black. And if some of you new people, you know, we don't know your level of experience or what you do um, art-wise. So if you have any questions about products that we're using or anything like that, just speak up. The ladies in chat should be able to help you. If they can't, I'll do my best. Not that I know everything about everything, but um, yeah. If it's about a product, Eileen knows about it. I promise you that. If it's about pens, I know about it. If it's about watercolor, Jean knows. No, no, daylight bird singing, not good. Okay, bye CBC. Have a fun day. Alright, this I'm going to cut up into three pieces. The life is a journey. Do I want splatters? Do I want splatters? Do I want splatters? Yeah, I, I kind of do. I'm going to make just a small, small amount of blue splatterage. Um, I'm just thinking if I really do want if there's blue splatterage down there I'm not going to worry too much alright 
just splatter it. Who cares, right? What do I care? Oops, got it on my circle cutter. Jean, I may join you on this splattered stuff. I love the way it looks, but geez, later on when I'm cleaning it up, I'm going to hate myself. Hi, Julie. He got the, a ribbon for being the best at being the best. There you go. Can you imagine if Eileen and I were at an award ceremony and either one of us won the award that we thought, the other one won the award that we thought we deserved? We'd be ripping each other's hairs out. We'd have our granny panties all up in a wad. Yeah, it'd be so ugly. I did and use the hashtag um, hashtag scavenger hunt 2018 on Twitter um, when I put when I search for that um, there were no posts so if you use that we shouldn't have to wade through a bunch of posts to find our stuff Um, Kathy, Miss Allie won, Colleen won, Galena won, um, a new girl named Katina, and, oh, Denise in New Jersey. So out of everybody there, one new person won one of the journals. I've never seen her at any of the chats, which is fine. I mean, being a regular fib was not a requirement. So, And, and sometimes I'm kind of glad when new people win, you know. Um, not that the old people don't deserve it or whatever. Um, I, I just like to see the new people get included right away and feel welcome and stuff like that so um yeah didn't bother me at all that a new person won one well we'll be making more i'm sure of that so there'll be enough for everybody i feel all right Yeah. All right, I th I think I'm liking that right there. And I'm going to map medium this down, so, um, and I have put glue underneath it. And that's right, she may become a fib after hanging with us yesterday. So, um, yep, and they're all addressed, ready to go. I know. 
I just scrolled back, Eileen. We would kill each other. We would. But deep down, we'd be happy for each other, Eileen. You know we would. All right. I like this. Life is a journey. What else have I forgotten, Eileen? Have I forgotten anything? If that's all, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and map medium these real quick. Let me look at this one. At least this side of them. This one I'm going to have to do something on the inside. Even though, yeah, I'm going to have to do something on the inside. Yep, yep, yep. This one I protected, so I'm not going to have to do anything on it. Um, it just needs to be matte medium on both sides, I think. Because it's got the splatterage, got the word. I think we're done. She said, nope, all is well. Well, if all is well, take advantage of that moment. We're going to get the matte medium out, and so these will be very close to done. But if you're going to make any corrections, now would be the time to do it. And I'm still trying to use up that crap Liquitex matte medium, so maybe today will be the day. I clean out my bottle and put my golden in it. Just put some Elmer's Stream glue stick in. Good idea, Kia. Honestly, um, thanks, CB. Um, I've tried a lot of the glue sticks. If you buy any of the ones, and that Elmer's one that I le that Ange has and is using. I've done that one too and it's junk. If you use, if you get one of these, the purple that dries clear, this is junk. Um, treat it like repositionable glue, for real, because it's junk. And anything that says school glue on it, the glue sticks, the little ones, whatever, don't buy those, they're junk. Okay, CB, get rid of my gray hair too if you could please. God, I'd be bald. I would be absolutely, totally flipping bald. Alright. We're going to do both of them. I'm going to let that other one dry for a few minutes. This one's been sitting here drying for a couple days now, so... Ugh, my, my bottle glued itself shut. Yep, time to clean this out. I got to get rid of the matte medium huge booger at the top of my bottle here. It's not closing, which means it's going to dry out. Uh, there it goes. One great big. Look at that. Ugh, yuck. It's a big old booger. Look at that. Let the paintbrush roll right in that. Don't you wish you were me sometimes? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Something wrong with me. When matte medium dries, you can see the brush marks, so um, if you don't care that your brush marks go all willy-nilly, you can paint this on any way you want, but otherwise, yeah, your brush marks are going to be apparent.
and I know I'm off screen, but I'd have to back way, way, way out for you to see this whole bad boy. I'll probably put at least two coats of matte medium on this as well because it is just paper and it'll make it a little bit more durable. This is not a permanent journal cover, I can promise you. It's paper. But it'll be fun while it lasts. It'll probably last longer than you think, though. It, it might surprise you. So has anybody um, stuck anything down in their scavenger hunt journal yet? I'm going to this afternoon, so I don't think I should be the first. So somebody better stick something down. That one is, this is really pretty. I do like the patchwork ones. They're just cool looking. Set this over on my computer and get matte medium all over my computer keyboard. I think that's a great idea. And this one's ready to go. Don't need much matte medium for this one. <clears throat> what, what is Eileen cooking up now? Oh, good, Jean. You did go ahead and order the new cameo. Yay, you. That just tickles me to death. That there was something you wanted that, oh, that just makes me happy, happy, happy. If I knew anything about a cameo, I'd probably be more happy for you. Don't know the first thing about a cameo. <gasps> that black moved again, you guys. Oh, that makes me so mad. That was acrylic. That should not be moving. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of it. Oh, man, that makes me so mad. It should not be moving. So there you go. Be careful if you use Posca because that's what I used on that. Get out a new baby wipe. Okay, Lynn, you just sent me an email? All right. So, well, has it been since um, I went on stream? Because I just finished the last email right before I came on. So, if it was earlier than that, Houston, we've got a problem. All right. Man, that makes me mad. Because I, I used a product that I really thought was permanent and then it went ahead and moved and I can't imagine why it would it was acrylic on top of acrylic so if you guys know why let me know just read the email gonna get a comp book ready to put all the items in cool Julie okay um, if well I was gonna say it if you guys are forwarding it to each other don't send me an email because I'll duplicate it because yeah and I mean the the less community this is gonna sound horrible but understand how I mean it um, the less communication the better you know what I'm saying is you know you gotta keep in mind that I'm dealing with 50 requests rather than just a single request and like when I did the email a lot of you had written me um, personal messages thank yous or um, different things well I sent that out like mass mailing I didn't address each email individually so I did read them but I did not you know sit down and, and 
write that note to you individually. I wrote it to the group. Um, so, yeah, it's not personalized to any one person. And if you don't mind getting it twice, then email me. I would just, out of curiosity, kind of like to know how many people are, are participating. I'm going to dab the matte medium on here rather than brush it, so if that black moves again, it's not moving on top of the white. Dang, that makes me so mad. I mean, after it dried on that other one where that it moved, it wasn't horrible, but it's still just like, golly, if I wanted it like that, I would have done it like that. Okay, Lynn, don't be surprised if you get two then. Yeah. Because if there's an email in, in there, I won't remember who was going to send who what. So don't be surprised if I go ahead and send it again. Because it's you, Lynn, I probably will remember, but... Yeah, I don't want to be in a position where I trust somebody else because that just creates more emails down the road. I didn't get it. Well, who didn't you get it from? Me or Eileen or who? You know, like, yeah, you get it. You can see the pitfalls. All right, matte medium dries incredibly fast, so I'm going to go ahead and just give this one um, a blow real quick. I know, Eileen, don't just, I, I know what I just said. I'm going to dry it real quick. Okay, speak. Grumpy is so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yes, you are. L listen to her. She's chewing my ass on stream. Am I? Oh. Well, Ange, I didn't get any sleep last night. It was pissing you off. It was making you mad. Come on. What's pissing me off? Oh, this, the matte medium? Yeah, that was pissing me off. I can get mad about that. Chillax. Okay. All right, I'll chillax. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to change my ways. <laughs> Probably in 2019. 2019? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that, that big black in there did piss me off. I don't mind saying that. It did. <laughs> Sorry, All right. Okay. All right. See you. Bye. Man, she costs a chewy nut while I'm streaming. Can you imagine the gall? All right, so no problem. Send it and forget I lead. Oh, my gosh. It, okay. If there's an email in my inbox, I am mailing it. That That's just going to be my rule. Okay? And whatever you guys do amongst yourselves, I don't even worry about. Especially when I'm streaming. Um, you already put stuff in your book? Good, Janice. All right, here we go. This is the second coat for the front. Um, I probably won't paint the back today because I'm still going to be thinking about, one, whether or not I want to reinforce the spine. That is something I have not determined yet. Um, I kind of think I need to because I'm going to put the elastic enclosure or binding um, that's a big old matte medium booger going on. Um, yeah, so I I mean, I could always go back and do it after it's matte medium, no problem. But, yeah, it's easier if I do it before I do this. So, yep. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to probably call it a day. And... Um, Go be happy with Ratatouille that we saved a mountain of money today.
I was prepared to just go ahead and pay the full price. So the fact that we got a bonus, yeah, that makes me happy. And it wouldn't have mattered if it was 30000 a month, you guys. I would have seen that he got that medicine, I promise you. If I'd had to sell this house, I would have. Of course, that's the crazy thing. If we hadn't had money in the bank, <laughs> it all would have been paid for. Every bit of it. That's the thing that's a little maddening. Is that if you've done the right thing and saved your money... Yeah, they're going to end up with it, which is fine. I'm glad we had it, but that's really the truth right there. And the lady in the financial office, when you very, if you've never been in that system, you don't appreciate it. But anyway, you have to go talk to the financial people before they start your treatment, right? And so she was all prepared to get us some financial aid, right? And we weren't in there two minutes, and she said, I'm sorry, there's just nothing we can do for you. I mean, we were in and out of that financial office in about two minutes. It was like, oh, my gosh. All right, there's two coats on each of it. Oh, I do like this blue one. This blue one is pretty pretty. I know um, Eileen would prefer it was green, but this blue one is really pretty. What's too funny? I need to do laundry and go snowshoeing. Oh my God, Brenda, you have a whole lot more guts than I do. Be happy with rat. I am happy with rat. Go be happy with the rat boy. I wish I was the kind of person that liked to go out because I know Robert probably would say, you know, let's go out and celebrate, you know, like go, let's go out and eat or let's do something like that. And I'm like, nope, let's stay home and I'll fix <laughs> whatever, you know, I'll fix dinner because I hate to go out. I hate to go out. Yeah, I just don't like going out to restaurants. Now, if those restaurants would come here and feed me, that'd be fine. I just don't want to go sit in their nasty-ass restaurant. No, Amy, anybody can sign up at any time. Um, the deadline, you know, if you want to participate in the drawing for a prize, um, the deadline for that is going to be March 1st. But there's no law that says you have to finish the book. Um, it's really just kind of a fun diversion. Um, and I meant it when I said that I, I really encourage you guys to get, um, creative, like, um, alter your pages. If you have difficulty finding something, create it from scratch. You know, like, I think it would be way cool if somebody created their own cartoon character. Don't, you know, you can cut one out of a newspaper and or, or a magazine or whatever. Um, but it would be fun to create your own. So if you have difficulty with any of it, create your own. It would be fun to create your own fortunes. You know, you can get them out of a um, fortune cookie, but make up goofy ones yourself. Janet, you would love Uber Eats. They will deliver the food to you. See, Kathy, that's the problem out here on Monkey Island. Nobody's going to bring anything out here. Nothing. You slept 10 out of the last 12 hours. Good for you, Paula. You needed it. Hi, by the way. And Teresa, you guys are going to think, oh, my God, is there any pleasing you? And maybe there's not. I don't know. But getting takeout and bringing it home, by the time you order it, get it in the car, bring it out here 20 miles, by the time it gets here, it tastes like caca. I'm just saying. It doesn't taste good. Like, if you get french fries and drive, drive them home, they're awful. They're horrible. So that's why I just, you know what, I'll just cook. I'll just cook. And it's my own fault. It's because of where I live. 
If I lived in Grove, I could have Pizza Hut pizza delivers. You know, I could have other stuff. But it's just, um, yeah, it's just where I live. And the, the restaurants out here close for the season. I mean, I think we have two restaurants out here right now that are open. But anyway, um, I'm going to stop the recording real quick. I'm not going anywhere. We can sit here and yak all we want. But if you watch this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Um, next time, we will be doing something different. I just don't know what. So there's one journal cover, kind of a crazy quilt one. And here's a, a blue passport size. And I will show the finished product after I glue it together. So thanks for watching.